All right, today we're gonna to show you how to make some orange creamsicle moonshine. You're gonna need a gallon of orange juice, some vanilla coffee creamer. You could use liquid, but if you use liquid, you gotta keep it refrigerated and the shelf life of it is between 90 and 120 days. So think about that. If you're gonna make a big batch or do this two or three times, which we are, because we like a lot of it, you're going to uh, wanna use the powdered coffee creamer. Next step, we're gonna put it in the pot. No, you didn't talk about anything past coffee creamer. We're gonna talk about sugar or moonshine. I didn't say pound and a half sugar. Oh, you might have. All right, you need a pound and a half sugar. My bad. <laughs> Co <laughs> Coat of moonshine. I don't know. I was I was uh, Coat of moonshine. You was daydreaming. Well, I smelled it and I, I could smell the oranges. <laughs> I mean, I don't smell shit. So I was like, okay. oranges, hell yeah. All right, we're going to put this in a pot. We'll show you the next step. All right, you want to add your orange juice and your sugar to a pot. Bring it to a boil and then shut it off. Don't forget to stir it. All right, now once it comes to boil, shut your heat off. You want to add a whole cup of French vanilla coffee creamer and a whole tablespoon of vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract. Uh, all right, now you want to let it cool down. Don't add your alcohol before it cools down. You want to tell them why, or they should know. Y'all know. You know. All right, now you want to add a quart of 150 proof moonshine. If you got clear liquor and it ain't quite 150 proof, just add two quarts. If you want it stronger, add more. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna oh add another quart because I like it stronger. But really the recipe calls for, for one quart, 150 proof. It comes out great, no matter what you do to it. Tastes like orange cream soup. It's got a little bite with the two jars. The reason why we use powdered coffee creamer is because we make such big batches of this. Like, like we'll do like four or five gallons and I ain't got room in the refrigerator. If you use liquid coffee creamer, one, it's going to take up more volume and water down your liquor even more. Two, you have about 90 to 120 days to drink it before it goes back. And uh, I don't think this has a shelf life like this. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I know it's going to last longer than if you use that liquid coffee creamer. This is absolutely amazing. It's really good warm. I can't wait for it to get cold. Yeah, it's still warm. I mean, you'll see all the little white floaties in there. It, you're supposed to let this <laughs> sit for seven days. So, you can drink it now, just shake it up. Uh, seven days from now, color will be changed. It'll be a lot, a lot prettier. Add you an orange slice to each jar, whatever you want to do. Now, you get no alcohol bite. It's just all flavor, and the yeah. only, only alcohol you feel is it feels a little warm running down your belly. So I don't you even can, feel that. You can tell it's there, uh, and I mean, you could easily, this this will get you in trouble. Yeah. This shit right here where I feel belly naked rolling in mud bubbles <laughs> and shit. You end up drinking four jars of it. And you don't even you know, know it. it. Yeah. That's the orange cream sickle moonshine. 